So, Virgo, I do feel like your love message for this full moon period uh, in time focuses a lot on some of you um, needing to needing to tap to an energy on your own that is more open to compassion, to forgive, to accept things that, um, you know, perhaps are against your own rational uh, understanding of what situations should be evaluated as, but your heart and your soul draws in here a strong pull towards assisting and caring for those you need and for those you love, even if they don't deserve it. So what I'm feeling strongly, Virgo, is that some of you will be called to assist or help someone during this time in which perhaps you've had had some sort of fallout or some sort of difficulty in getting along with because they have treated you wrong or hurt you, you know. For some of you, I actually feel like backstabbing. So there has been a betrayal of some sorts with uh, someone in your life in which perhaps you had a lot of feelings for. And what I'm feeling is like um, someone um, that has done you wrong will need your help or will be in a very delicate situation or state. You will get to know this that this person is not doing well and you're going to have this tug of war i feel this internal struggle between following your own judgment that tells you but this person did that or did that or is that or that whatever you are considering negatively about the situation but your soul your heart tells that no matter what um you choose love over hate or you choose forgiving over uh, bitterness or holding on to grudges i do feel like some of you you know you're going to have this acknowledgement of the imperfect nature that permeates uh, you know your own self and so others and so relationships in general it's like there's this this I feel like some of you Virgos, this Libra full moon will make it very clear that there's no such thing for some of you as perfection. So if you have been having quarrels or fights or a lot of issues with your significant other, with friends, with family, with someone, whoever it is, um, because they just can't hold themselves to that standard that you hoped they would, some shift of perspective will you will be kind of I feel forced to shift that perspective when you're confronted with either the fear of loss, the fear of or you or the fear of loss or you seeing a side to your own self or to this person you're projecting that energy um, that it's so, so vulnerable, so so vulnerable, so. Uh, fragile, that it will move you, that will touch you in a way. It's like, you know, when we judge someone to be the bad guy or the bad girl or character or villain, we judge someone to be the villain of our own um, story, in our own stories, well, like we are the victims of some sorts. It's not to say that whoever this energy is to you, that this person did not did you wrong, it's not to take the blame, it's just something here about the dynamics you Virgos are here to deal with um, calls into your higher, your higher self, one that forgives, one that loves, one that understands, one that heals um, others with that compassion energy, compassionate energy despite everything else. So I'm feeling like the power of unconditional love being something that you will be strongly dealing with or called to deal with. And some of you, I feel like there's this nervousness also affecting your love lives during this time. I feel like this Libra full moon will bring some nervousness, anxiety, uh, expectations like what's going to happen next. I don't know. Cliffhanger moments. 
some of you are dealing with a lot of suspense and a lot of um, like you're in the dark about the future when it comes to love and, and being, you know, again, needing to tap, needing to tap with a lot of, uh, to your own faith, right? It's like if you, if you are a Virgo that is looking to your love life as being, you know, right now in this, in this dark energy where nothing is happening, it's like nothing, right? The nothingness, the aloneness. I feel like you're uh, you're being um, pushed to hold on to this dark phase um, because in it you are creating something as well, even though you, you're not seeing it. It's like a behind-the-scenes moment, but in which activity is happening still. It's just out of your conscious understanding. Um, and it's also about t tuning into faith and tuning into um, your ability to overcome it's like stage your love life feels like you know like this game where there's a level one two three four five so you have been through different levels i'm feeling and now i feel like you have reached though a very important one like a significant level that you were to go to like you finished one now you're going to the next level and this next level is unknown but you know it's going to be huge and for some of you you are scared you are very scared of what, what this next level is going to bring you because part of you has a notion that will be, again, creating a huge impact in the way um, you have lived love and the way you're going to start to live love in relationships. I do feel, again, that some of you, um, you really need to apply a lot of work, even in uh, established relationships. Again, Virgos that are in relationships... Uh, it feels like it's hard work. For some reason, during this full moon phase, hard work is needed to get to a good um, understanding between you and your significant other because it, one of you is not doing well. One of you needs a lot of assistance or aid of some sorts. I also feel like, Virgos, you are attracting very clever kind of, uh, genius kind of, People. What I want to say about that is uh, some of you love starts in the mind or will be starting in the mind strongly. There seems to be a very strong, for some of you, you will be connecting or attracting someone during this time in head in which there will be a strong mental chemistry and connection that would develop into something else. Um, some of you, there's this magical effect also, again, it's like you're manifesting a lot of progress, prosperity, abundance to you, um, that it's beyond financial, that it's beyond financial prospects. It's more than that. But the fact that perhaps also your financial circumstances and your work life is getting better, you're then able to feel more, like to give yourself more room, to feel more available, to dedicate yourself to other um, aspects of your life that also import, are important to you. But I feel like some of you have been in this workaholic um, energy, like committed and throwing yourselves to work or other things you want to see improved in your life that in which you feel like you have more control. But I feel like you, there's something about this full moon that's going to uh, take you out of that um, escape that you have created perhaps. Um, either you have distracted yourselves and not seen that your partner is not doing well or something that you have been avoid looking at. It's like you got, the full moon is going to take you back, like take you to confront what you have been running to confront that could be about someone um, that you're still healing from that is not doing well or a situation that you can't run, you need to work with it, you need to work through it. You can't move beyond it without working right through it, Virgo, is what I'm feeling. So I hope you have uh, a great full moon experience in time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below for the month 
of April, as usual, I have a special tarot offer available at a sales price. And if you would like, and it's called Game On, if you would like to know more details about that special offer or any other of my tarot services, just email me. Or if you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do so by following the PayPal link, which is also down below.